The Hobbit, the Battle of the Five Armies. We go bad taste. See what you know about Peter Jackson. Lord of the Rings, 1978. Lord of the Rings, the two thousand. Okay, all right. And then we know this is a Lifeline Miller right here. I mean, this is my opening. I saw your opening. Yeah, yeah, use that cast Lifeline. This, this is the Lifeline Destroyer. I know exactly where I'm going after. Hit me with the skip. <laughs> I don't know anything else Jed Brophy's been in. But hit me with the skip. I know exactly what I'm going to type. We're going to type black sheep. And then I wish you the best of luck, good sir. I wish you the best of luck. Now, where would I go from black sheep? I don't know. But I don't have to know because you don't have a skip. You used it on brain dead. I think if I had to, I would probably type once we're warriors and then the hunt for the wilder people and then Thor Ragnarok and then next goal wins. Eagle versus shark. That's another great guess. And after that, I think I'm pretty much toast. <laughs> we go again. The change in the bands. I understand. This is theory. Yeah, we're not in book anymore. Shaun of the Dead 2004. Okay, I understand. I understand. That's kind of interesting. Let's go, uh, let's go Paul 2011. I was hoping to kind of pivot a little further off of the Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, Nick Frost stuff. I guess I should have gone with an Edgar Wright to take us more out of out of England in the general audiences, but uh, no disrespect to England. Okay, you want to, I mean, maybe you don't know shit about Simon Pegg, bro. I don't know. You know shit about Run, Fat Boy Run from 2007. Hank Azaria, Thandie Newton. Um, it's got the same dude. It's got the Dylan Morin from, uh, from uh, Shaun of the Dead, but you can't play Shaun of the Dead, so I wish you the best of luck. I personally, I'd probably end up getting out of this with the Chronicles of Riddick, in my personal opinion. Or Heat via Hank Azaria, just to prove that I'm Mo Sislak pilled. Those would be my, the two standard ways I would go. You're going to skip me? Okay, I'll, I mean, I'll just prove it. Heat, 1995, Hank Azaria. I don't know where we'd be going. We wouldn't be doing a second Hank Azaria, let's put it that way. You're going to hit me with a Sim 1? Okay. I should have seen that coming. Uh, let's hit you with something. Let's hit you with the recruits. And then probably you're going to panic and you're going to play a very obvious way out for an Al Pacino movie unless you've got something pre-programmed. Because uh, you might not know shit about the recruit. You might not know that it stars Colin Farrell. So you might just say, uh, 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 The Godfather. And then, okay, Dog Day Afternoon, The Godfather. That makes perfect sense. Um, cast me. Sydney Lumet, Carol Kane, Nashville. I don't know. Uh, the, the John Cazale movies that I'm thinking of. Hang on, I skip you. John Cazale, every movie he's ever been in was nominated for Best Picture. But I think he was in a lot of them with Al Pacino, too. <laughs> you, you screwed yourself, man. The dog day afternoon was too good. Attica! Attica! Disconnected, attempting to reconnect. Resin, he hit me with the lag switch. We take those. All right, chat. How do we get out of John Cazale? Deer Hunter. Deer, this, is this person 10 and 1? What the fuck? Nine straight wins. Lost their first game. Busted off a 10-piece afterwards. Scary, bro. Trying 
Tropic Thunder 2008. Okay. Point Break, 1991. I mean, 48 hours, 1982. I'm not, I'm not playing a second X on any of these. I'm, I'm getting well out of your bands, I hope. I'm taking it back to 1982. Or maybe, that's, maybe he was playing an ensemble opening just to keep it interesting. He doesn't know the 80s. He doesn't know Eddie Murphy. <laughs> I got more growing pains than Maggie because homies nag me. A thousand words starring Eddie Murphy. What the fuck is a thousand words, bro? How about the adventures of motherfucking Pluto? No, no, no. I want you to play Pluto Nash. Dream Girls. I don't know shit about the, the, a thousand words. They, if they Norbit me, it's not even close. We go the, the Chronicles of Riddick. Uh, this has Jonah Hill in it. So we go super bad. The only reason I know that is because I remember Jonah Hill's co-star wouldn't um, kiss him. Uh, now, Jonah Hill movies where you don't know who else is in it. How about um, Your Majesty? Her Majesty? How about Year One? Okay, how about Moneyball? Because I'm running out of time. <laughs> Pretty easy to get away out of it, but. You know, you're right. War Dogs would have been a good one. It has, um, you know, the guy. I know his name, too. The Fantastic Four guy, the Whiplash guy. The guy from that movie where Thor makes the drug that makes you happy even though you're looking at a garbage dump. Miles Teller, Miles Teller. You can't get out of Moneyball? See, now that, that's crazy. If only I could think of another movie Bobby Kotick was in. Give me 12 Monkeys. Bro skipped on Moneyball. Chris Pratt, Brad Pitt. Bobby Kotick. <laughs> That's true. I forgot it has Philip Seymour Hoffman in it. Okay, something's not right. You, you had an opening trap. It didn't work out. You played the same person 10 times in a row. It happens. Are we going again? I mean, you rematch your question. You couldn't get out of Moneyball? Moneyball, bro. It's Kino. You got to go see Moneyball. That's a great movie. It's maybe the most dad movie of all time. Bro couldn't think of a second Brad Pitt movie? <laughs> okay, like, let's be nice, all right? Let's be nice. But still, there's an element of that that's like, really? Um, let's just start with The Fisher King. Let's just see. I'd rather play The Fisher King than have it played against me. I played a little today and my companion is not great. Okay, sorry, now I feel like a jerk. I should be more gracious. Now you're gonna skip me and I am going to cast because I need to find, I'm gonna know, I believe I know the lead actress in this movie. One hour photo most relevant for Robin Williams saying Neon Genesis Evangelion. Okay, I do. I mean, there's lots. Gary Cole, I could take you to Office Space. Clark Gregg, we go Avengers. Michael Varden, can't really think of it, but Connie Nielsen, I gotta hit you straight up with a 300. There's, now I know, I was just, I took my time so that next time we get one hour photoed, I don't have to use a lifeline. You're going Justice League. I'm going um, Death on the Nile. Enough champagne to fill the Nile. I forget what she says. Something like that. Connie Nielsen was not in 300. Bro, I don't want to sound like a misogynist. I don't remember her name. She played Leonidas' wife. Also known as the Queen of Sparta. Wonder Woman 2017, Gal Gadot. What you know about Red Notice?
He's in a cast on Red Notice, huh? Wait, Connie Nielsen's the wife in Gladiator? Hang on a second. <laughs> Who does Connie Nielsen play in 300? You're thinking of Gladiator? Well, she's fucking in 300 because it worked. She's not in 300? Bro, it worked. What do you mean she's not in 300? Oh, Dylan Smith. No, it didn't. You're right. My mistake. Tooth Fairy. Okay, I got to... I'll just take you with a skip on this one. Let's see how you react. How do you like it? <laughs> Tooth Fairy 2! I should have tried that. My mistake. It didn't work, but I still should have tried. All right. It is crazy that Tooth Fairy 2, they fucking cleaned house, bro. None, no overlapping actors or directors. Okay, I'm ready. How does a draw occur? If two skips happen in a row, like if, if your opponent skips your guess and then you skip it, then that's a draw. You're going to Secret Life of Walter Mitty me? Okay, I'm going to Barb and Star. Go to Vista Del Mar, you. Kristen Wiig has been blocked by my ban. I don't know who else is in this, by the way. But I can also say Kristen Wiig because <laughs> she's my band. Oh, man. These chicks don't even know the name of my band, bro. You skip me? Okay, I'll hit you with a... Knocked up. I'm comfortable back there. Wouldn't it be funny if they had Kristen Wiig blocked? Again, this is not an opening trap. This is just like the... It's just, it's just what I'm doing. The Ugly Truth starring Katherine Heigl. And fucking Melinda Bennett. I'll hit you with the 27 dresses if you want to go Katherine Heigl on me. I don't, know, I don't know anything that Katherine Heigl's in, but I'm sure that she's in something that has someone in it, and you only got one lifeline left. Have you actually watched all these? So I have seen 27 dresses, and I've seen Knocked Up. Otherwise, no. But I'm familiar with them. Bro, this has James Marsden in it. Just play Hop or something like that. Come on. Come on! What are we doing here? Get me out of it. Yeah, the, the show, you only left because I couldn't leave first. Good game. Good game. This person named Nanny McPhee? Nanny McPhee 2. <laughs> An egg rescue. A movie of eggs. I get it. I, I'll plus two that. A little joke at the start. That's no problem. And then they played Nanny McPhee. Okay, they're starting with uh, Camp Rock. How about Camp Rock 2, the final jam? Don't play the Jonas Brothers concert movie, please. <laughs> Have you... Uh, the Princess Protection Program? Like in the high school musical 2? Um... I'm gonna have to hit you with a skip on that one. I'm not even gonna waste your time going wasting a cast lifeline. Exactly. Cause I'm not gonna know anybody who's in it. I might as well just go straight for the skip. That's a that's a nasty start, bro. Bro took me back to Camp Rock. Spring Breakers, okay? <clears throat> By a Selena Gomez. Uh I know what I wanna do. I wanna play. Oz, the great and powerful. I know I can't say where I'm going because obviously I'm not saying they're stream sniping. 
I'm saying that they are familiar with the stream, so I don't want to give up too much intel. See, I was going to do 127 hours. Now, I'm sure James Franco has been in some shit that he's like the only person in, but I can't think of what it is. He's oh, a fucking ensemble comedies. I'm sure he's done a bunch of art house stuff. He did a, didn't he do like a Cormac McCarthy? Um, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, man. Hang on. I have no idea. Um, something that references the room. It's probably not going to be the Avengers. Wow, that's a great kill shot. I thought maybe there was like a documentary. He sent me to hell. I need to have a skip ready for that. That's, that's just a, that's well played. I'll rematch you on that one. Holy cow. Chat, how do you get out of the room? Your eyes, well, you don't play the disaster artist. That's a good start. Open the door. Samurai Cop 2 or Big Shark? Okay, I'll try to keep that in mind. Thank you. Love Actually. How about King Arthur 2004? I'd like to get out of England, though, if possible. I've taken us to the most British movie possible, but... Robin Hood 2010. American Gangster. 2007. Keep it rolling. This is a gamer here. Definitely a gamer. Oh, I forgot about best friends. I was like, at one point I knew everything that Tommy Wiseau did after the room, but then I realized at some point he was just never going to recreate the magic. Inside man. Okay. Um, shoot him up. Are we like, uh, it's like we're sexting. Inside man, shoot him up. Stop playing Nanny McPhee, bro. Inside man, shoot him up. What is this? Uh, mm, uh, pornography? <laughs> Sideways? I don't think I could fit, to be honest with you, brother. How about Spider-Man 3? How about um, Highlander 1? Never mind. How about Highlander 2? I knew, I knew she was in one of them. Highlander 1. I shouldn't be here. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I shouldn't have put myself in this position. I should stop, stop playing Nanny McPhee, bro. It's like a, a hit confirm. It's like as soon as Nanny McPhee comes out, I know I'm getting comboed. Yep, I knew something was coming here. I'm not even going to waste my, my time burning a cast. I'll skip and you can burn a cast if you want. Or maybe you know a connection here already. Set him up for Nanny McPhee. I don't know who the fuck is in Nanny McPhee. It's um, Emma, Emma something. Battle over. Battle draw. Okay. Well, we can rematch on that one. That's fine. What's her name? Emma Thompson. Thank you. Okay. I'll try to... I'll, I'll see what I can do. Oh, you're trying to get the Nanny McPhee. That's why you played Love Actually. I see. I see. Shanghai Noon, okay. Um, the Tuxedo. I should not play Jackie Chan movies, bro. Mr. Nice Guy. Maybe I should be playing Jackie Chan movies. I don't really want to play Rumble in the Bronx. I'm going to play Shanghai Nights. <laughs> because I don't... If, you, if I hit you with something hard... You're going to skip me. I'm going to burn a cast and I still might not know. And I don't want to just play to like a three uh, guest draw. Like, let's, let's get into it, okay? Bro, it's got uh, Owen Wilson in it. 
you know, in the first movie you played? The Dark Knight Rises, okay? Just thinking. We'll go Red Eye. Give me the Oppie. Imagine if you banned Emma Thompson. The tech is too good. For me to have stolen it from chat, I would never deign to use it against them. But that is that would be great. You going Batman Begins? Uh, man, I wish I had a great Killian Murphy kill shot, but I do not. Uh, I was going to say Batman Begins. I'm going to say the movie known as Oppenheimer. Perhaps you've heard of it. Sunshine. Sunshine's so easy. It's got Chris Evans in it. It's directed by Danny Boyle. I don't want to get lost in England. I'd rather get lost in America. Well, that's not really true in real life. I mean, it's not like this is any harder, I'll admit, but okay, you're going Quiet Place. I was interested. It could have gone Quiet Place 2, which actually has Killian Murphy in it. Oh, but then you can third star Emily Blunt me. Oh, you, you led me right into your trap. No, oh, now you can third star it. Go, go. Mary Poppins returns. <laughs> I knew it. I'm going to know someone in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard of them. How about uh, Bridget Jones? Bridget Jones' baby. To, uh, Colin Firth has been banned by my opponent. Understandable. I'm going to take a 15-second step here. Um, and I'm going to say Hamilton the movie. Okay. You, you found a way out of this blind spotting. The Little Mermaid 2023. I'm in trouble though. I feel they're playing with me. I'm their food. The Little Mermaid 1989. <laughs> the Little Mermaid to Return to the Sea. <laughs> Hunchback of Notre Dame, too. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Well, well, well. There's a lot of actors in this. I didn't really know that, honestly. Les Miserables. The fucking Victor Frankenstein. I don't know what I'm doing. It worked! <laughs> I saw Victor and I said... You asked me to think of a book by Victor Hugo. My ass said Victor Frankenstein. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein? What the fuck, bro? Frankenstein. Bride of Frankenstein? Okay. Uh, that's still not great, to be honest. I guess Mary Shelley's credited as a writer. That makes perfect sense. What are we doing down here, man? Son of Frankenstein. Nosferatu. What? I don't know shit that Boris Karloff is in, man. Ed Wood? That's the other guy. Cast me? <laughs> what am I? Oh, Bella Lugosi's in this. Bro, he's in Ed Wood. Um, he's, he's Dracula. Dracula 1958? Dracula 1931? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's not Bella Lugosi and Ed Wood. It's a guy playing Bella Lugosi. Oh, what the fuck are we doing here? Dracula 2? Ascension? Some shit that... I don't know some shit that Bella Lugosi's in, bro. I'm skipping you. I don't know what we're doing out here. I don't know what... I'm in 1934. I got nothing, okay? Help me! Alvin and the Chipmunks meet the Wolfman. Honestly, reasonable guess. Targets, 1968. Oh, fucking um, Cocoon. Um, a Bridge Too Far. Um, duck Soup. Um, Metropolis. Probably not, huh? Dial M for Murder. Casablanca. Gone with the Wind, 1939? Okay, well, honestly, good game. <laughs> I, Nanny McPhee too. I wish you the best of luck. I never want to see you again. We got buried. 
we were, I was trying to think of silent movies. I was like, what's, what's Louise Brooks' most famous movie? Pandora, Pandora's Box? Fuck, it's short term 12. What are we doing here, bro? Okay, I got two cast lifelines. I'll use one, and I got to get you where I want you to be. And I know exactly where I want you to be. I want you to be in Uncut Gems with Lakeith Stanfield. You already had Rami Malek? Yeah, 14 days ago. You take me to good times? I take you to, um, I know where I want you to be, the lighthouse. But then if you play the first Willem Dafoe, I gotta get you off of it. Cosmopolis is my Robert Pattinson kill shot. They went with the witch, okay. The Playmobil movie, sorry. Playmobil, the movie. That one's for Chibli. This also lets them know that I'm not playing around. Like when you drop Playmobil, the movie on someone, they know, hey, we're going, this is going to be some serious gameplay. We're not fucking around anymore. Thoroughbreds, Anya Taylor-Joy. Very unlikely to get an Anya Taylor-Joy kill shot with the movies that I know that she's in with The Witch Off. But what about, maybe you don't know shit about Split. It's possible. It's possible. You never know. Playmobil? Yeah, that would have been a good one. Listen. Okay, they know James McAvoy, the last king of Scotland. Panic room. You think I don't know shit about Forrest Whitaker? Come on. You're going David Fincher? This is it's a simple one. I'm going Cedar Rapids. You're in the Ed Helms metaverse now. Percentage of players who cheat? I think it's pretty low, honestly. Any chance your ass doesn't know any of the voice actors in Finding Dory? Any chance? I could name an actor in this. I'm not going to say who it is, but I, I could name a second actor in this. And some movies that he has directed. Okay. Okay. Pixar technology. Ratatouille. Um, we go big fan. Patton Oswalt. Skip me, you motherfucker. You motherfucker. You skip me, you motherfucker. I, 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 I mill those lifelines, baby. You can't think of a second Patton Oswalt movie? He's in stuff. No shot his name is Ratzenberger. John Ratzenberger doesn't play the rat. Well, he might pay, play a rat, okay? But he doesn't play Ratatouille, also known as Remy. He probably plays another rat now that I think about it. Young adults. What you know about young adults? Patton Oswalt, Diablo Cody, Charlize Theron. Tell me something about young adults. Dude, you can just feel when you wrest control from the opponent... <laughs> we go again it's like an arm wrestle you know you battle it out in the middle as soon as you get them over the horizon you know the fisher king Aladdin, 1992. Interesting. I mean, we could still play 300 off this if we want to. <laughs> but we won't. We'll, we'll keep it honest. We could play a gladiator. Oh, we go Clark Gregg mode. Open Gregg style. Okay. 
Um, how about skyscraper? No, that's not what it's called. It's called high rise. Two different movies, Syn synonymic titles, two different movies. Free Fire. Yeah, I don't know any of those uh, actors. Free Fire, 2000. That's crazy. What is this? Brie Larson's in that. Okay. Charlton Copley, Killian Murphy. Who knew? Who knew? Um, let's go back to Red Eye. I can't remember if we were, were... Was it you that we were bandying the Killian Murphys with? I can't recall. Free Fire. Killian Murphy, Free Fire. Killian Murphy, Free Fire. Killian Murphy, Free Fire. <laughs> the Notebook. Barb E. I'm not hitting you with a second X, Rachel McAdams. We're, we got to be a little bit more strategic than that. Focus, 2015. I know exactly what I want to do here. Um, seven pounds with Will Smith. Then you don't know who else is in it. So you play a Will Smith movie and then we play Gemini Man. And then when you skip me, I drop any Ang Lee movie on you. I have the next four moves pre-planned. Please make your move. Whoa! Welcome back to Finding Dory, motherfucker. See, I didn't expect you to get out of it without using a lifeline, but now your ass is back here in Finding Dory. But now, now you, you, know, you know Alien Cube, though. We've established that. But do you know shit about Cedar Rapids? What the fuck are we doing here? Uh, this has Craig T. Nelson in it. Welcome to the Family Stone. Tis the season. I'll take my extra point. I'll take my extra point for connecting through a Christmas movie. It's got everybody. It's got Rachel McAdams in it, bro. Sarah Jessica Parker, Diane Keaton. Uh, the, the Dylan, um, 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 you know his name. You know his name. Dylan McDermott. Come on. You're going Rachel McAdams? Guess what, bitch? Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. What's going to happen when you skip my ass? <laughs> I don't know. We go red eye. I can't get out. Oh, it's already been played. Okay, Mean Girls. I, I can't get the kill shot on you. I can't get the kill shot on you there. We got to get out of that. I gotta, it's got to be a, a, an attempted kill shot to keep tempo. You're going Whiskey Tango Foxtrot? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that one because I don't know who's in it. Um... Just try to pivot out with an Amy Poehler. Can't get one. Then we go baby mama. No, no, no. I want you to play baby mama. We go date night. Eh, it doesn't really matter. Let's see where you want to go. Do you have a Tina Fey kill shot? Maybe you got a Tina Fey kill shot. I don't know. I'm feeling okay, though. We got to skip. We got equal lifelines, equivalent lifelines. Tina Fey ain't been in that much, to be honest. So I'm not too concerned about the Tina Fey kill shot, but I could be surprised. Baby mama. Okay, this is simple. We go the love guru. By a Romani Malco. I mean, that's like the grooves are so well worn there that like, I didn't even have to think about it. You go in glorious bastards on that one. Understandable. Have a good day. I'm just trying to think of the myriad directions we might want to go on this one. I'll give you a little, a quick hostel. Trying to tell you, a lot of people don't watch horror movies because they're scared. So they might say, what do we do here? Now, me personally, I haven't seen Hostel because I heard it was really scary. They skip me. I go Hostel 2. And I hope that Eli Roth was involved in that one. And now we wait. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that there's multiple Hostels. They got out the house with a clock on its walls. Okay, I know where I'm going. I'm going Bernie 2012. This dude know that Eli Roth is... He hit me with a skip on Eli Roth, then said, no, 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 I remember. I remember Eli Roth is totally in the clock with the house in its walls. Yeah, okay. I'm not suggesting anything. I'm just saying the human mind works in mystery. 
mysterious ways. I, I don't mind being the second uh, X on a Richard Link letter. I think we can find our way out. I could be wrong. I well, I gotta skip though. So if they if they build something unbreakable, we just skip them. And they did not build something unbreakable. We go the accountants, 2016. The double exclamation mark irks me. It shouldn't. It's a great movie. Um, I want Scott Pilgrim, not different Culkin. Um Super bad. I got a P super bad, by the way, which is why I'm moving around in my chair here. You should see Everybody Wants Some. It's a great movie. A little slice of life. It's kind of like if Studio Ghibli made uh, Porky's. Moneyball. You're going Jonah Hill on this one, okay? The Tomorrow War. It's my Chris Pratt connection. Exactly. It's kind of like if Koyanis Katsi was remade by like a Matt Damon type. Lady Killers 2004. Okay. Blood Simple 1984. I know all about Joel and Ethan Cohen. You want Dark Man 1990. Interesting. A Serious Man, 2009. Now, I know my way out of this one. <laughs> it's one of the greatest character actors of our time. He knows! He knows! Wonka! No. Little Women. Timothy Chalamet. He knew the Michael Stuhlbarg connection. He is playing the serious man accepted. We're, we're back in... Oh, what the fuck, what the fuck is this? Saoirse Ronan on Chesil Beach. Does this have Domhnall Gleeson in it? Okay, I have to. Lady Bird is two words. Don't panic. Now, what's your kill shot? Don't, don't abandon me in Ireland. I'll skip you. You hit me with something too rigorous, I'll skip it right back to you. Hold. We're holding. Lady Bird has already been played, I'm sorry to say. Saved. Okay, I can't rematch you because I have to go to the bathroom, okay? <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. See you in just a moment. By the way,